What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And in today's video, to pay respects to the late Olivia Newton John, I'll be reviewing the 1978 musical Grease. Australian good girl Sandy and greaser Danny fell in love over the summer, but when they unexpectedly discover they're now in the same high school, will they be able to rekindle their romance despite their eccentric friends? Well, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. So Grease was released in 1978. The film was directed by Randall Kaiser, I think is how you say his name. And the film was based on the Broadway musical of the same name. When Grease was released in theaters, the film was a smash hit, becoming one of the highest grossing musicals of all time. And I'm pretty sure it was the highest grossing film of its year as well. It even outgrossed Richard Donner's Superman, which is pretty impressive in its own right. This movie has one of the biggest selling soundtracks of all time. Even if you haven't seen Grease, uh, you probably know half of these songs because they're so iconic. They were big radio hits. It's just ingrained in so much pop culture that, yeah, you probably know half of these songs because they're so infectious, catchy, and they leave a big impact when you listen to them. The film also launched the career of Olivia Newton-John. Uh, she's kind of the focus in this video since she recently passed away. Rest in peace. Uh, she started out as a country artist in the early 70s. Grease was like her big breakthrough. Uh, it was like her first big acting role. She went and did several acting movies after the success of Grease, uh, most notably Xanadu, but that's a different story for a different day. And uh, Grease kind of changed her image and sound as an artist because she started out doing country music. But after Grease, she transitioned into a pop star and she became a really big artist in the 80s with songs like Physical Magic, among other things. So Grease was like the big turning point for Olivia's career. And you know, she had such a wonderful voice. Like uh, every time I heard Olivia, uh, every time I saw her watching this movie and listen to some of her songs, like, just the magnetic presence that she brought, the, the warmth of their voice, led to some great songs because of how wonderful her singing abilities were, whether in her ballads or some of her peppier songs, like, physical. So, yeah, it's really sad that we don't have Olivia Newton-John in this world anymore because she was fantastic in Greece. Uh, especially when paired with John Travolta as Danny. Like, the chemistry those two have in this movie is electric. Uh, yeah, the story is a little paper thin, and their on and off romance can get a little annoying at times, but the chemistry is there, and you do want to see them get together by the end of the movie. And I actually did enjoy both characters, and when they were willing to go through and sacrifice and change so they could be together. I think that was kind of fascinating throughout the course of the story. And like I said, I love the performances in this film, especially John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. Uh, I guess if I had to critique this movie, the stories of the film are kind of paper thin. The characters aren't really nothing to write home about. But what makes Grease such an awesome movie for one, I love the 50s time capsule the movie presents. Uh, it shows some of the different, you know, lifestyles that was happening in the 50s. You know, you got your jocks and you got your greasers and you got your good girls and you got your bad girls and you got so many other, you got some nerds and other groups of people. And even though they're all different from one another, sometimes they poke fun of each other and they can't get along. By the end of the movie, these characters are like family and they have that special bond and of being in this high school and I really enjoy the spirit of that I did enjoy the characters for what they are they're like nothing amazing or anything but they're still highly enjoyable characters and you care you care about each and every one of them and what they end up doing obviously Danny and Sandy are the main characters but there's even other characters that you kind of want to see have good things happen to them as well. Even minor characters like Frenchie, who originally dropped out of high school to go to beauty school, and that kind of backfired. And uh, she has that dilemma of should she go back to high school and graduate and get her diploma and all that. And then even the character Rizzo, who uh, gets in a bad spot where she 
gets in a bad relationship and, you know, she fears she might be pregnant. And that was scandalous for a teenager to get pregnant in the 50s. And, you know, people turn against her because of that. So there's stuff throughout this whole movie where you uh, want to see each character succeed and, you know, get through the trials that they're facing. So it's all happy ever after by the end of it. And a lot of that is, uh, even though they're not the best characters, they're still likable enough where you want to see them succeed. And a lot of that attributes, I think, to the 1950s aspect as well. The time capsule in this is great. I love, you know, the costumes, uh, the cars, the music. That is the single-handedly why Grease works, because it takes you back to a different era and seeing the best elements of that era. And it's done so well throughout the course of the movie. Obviously, the soundtrack is fantastic. Uh, I can name you so many songs in this movie, and they're all fantastic. Summer Nights, you're the one that I want. Obviously, the title song, Grease, sung by Frankie Valli. Beauty School Dropout featuring a hilarious cameo from Frankie Avalon. Hopelessly Devoted to You, Sandy, We Go Together. Just so many awesome songs in this movie. Grease Lightning's another great one, too. That one I always have a great time listening to. That's a great earworm as well. Just so many amazing songs. There's no bad song in the soundtrack. Every song stands out. These songs do a great job of enhancing the story because if it was just uh, everyday teen drama, the film would be kind of bland and vanilla. But what makes Grease awesome, not just the 1950s aesthetic, but the songs as well. If Grease didn't have any songs, it would not be this memorable. But Grease works in the fact that it is a musical, and all the songs are amazing. I, I guess I can nitpick the story elements, because it's not like the most amazing story by any means. And yeah, none of the actors in this movie remotely look like high school teens. Uh, actually, the worst example of Stockhard Channing, who played the character Rizzo, uh, she was like in her 30s when they did this movie and yeah she definitely looks older compared to the other actors in this movie but she still played the part of Rizzo well and you do feel bad for her character when you know people turn against her when they think she's pregnant so uh, you do feel a little bit bad for her in that moment but yeah she definitely looks way older than the rest of the actors which is uh, it's kind of weird that they did that but you know they casted you know grown-ups as teenagers all the time especially in the past and so you just kind of have to roll with it. The actors still play their roles well. And Grease is still a highly enjoyable movie. Uh, these songs are fantastic. The pairing of John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John was electric. And I love the 50s aesthetic of this movie. So Grease is an awesome musical. I don't know what you've been missing if you haven't seen this film. It's one of the finest musicals there is. With an amazing soundtrack. Some fun characters and an awesome time capsule of a time gone by. So, Grease is an amazing movie, especially musically. I do highly recommend this one, and at the end of the day, I'll be giving Grease a four and a half out of five stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting an 87 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Grease. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you've seen this film, let me know down in the comments below, would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!